Afternoon guys, it's Fubujan here and today I'm gonna give you a frank and honest review of what exactly happened in the UEFA Champions League final. So I would request you to board my train and let's enjoy the UEFA Champions League final. So what basically happened in this UEFA Champions League final where Bayern competed with PSG was enthralling. I mean after um, so many years I have seen such an okay finals. I mean all the finals in the earlier years had been so wonderful and awesome but this year just lacked some extra bit yeah it was awesome definitely it caught my nerves it chilled me but both the teams there they had played wonderfully and their defense just stopped goals i mean it is a finals man how can it be limited to one goal we expected more goals to come but if we do not speak of goals it had been an enthralling finals and after such a wonderful finals i have a few observations personally Bayern Munich team, it costs less than that world record transfer Kylian Mbappe whom PSG brought from AS Monaco with 200 million euros. Boy, man, he is 200 million euros and he misses like a brasta chill. He misses like he is someone from the slums. I mean, what is this man? What kind of football is this? He is a 200 million transfer, a World Cup winner. We expect at least some decency in from him when it comes to finishing but when it comes to finishing he is a total idiot what is this he's such a great goal scorer we have seen so many wonderful goals coming in from mbappe but in the finals it seemed like this is not mbappe it seemed as if this was gonzalo higuan this was not mbappe in my honest opinion this was gonzalo higuan um, and oliver giro to be specific what was that? He was going on dribbling past defenders and oh goodness when it came to finishing he just shot the ball straight into Neuer's face. I mean even if Neuer hadn't dived maybe he would have saved it. Maybe Mbappe would have missed it. What was those things that Mbappe was doing? I mean the entire PSG team played wonderfully and it was awesome. It was fantastic performance from the PSG defense they were counter-attacking so well and uh, coming to Neymar if I come to Neymar he's such a final choker man 230 million transfer the most expensive player in football history and what does he do he shots what does it what is that he shot the ball directly into Neuer's legs the goal post was open it would have been a direct goal if he had shot it in the top right corner but what was that Neuer was standing right in front of him and he shot in the Neuer's leg only. Oh, and do you think this is Lord Iscariest? Trust me, this is this is Lord Iscariest. This is Manuel Neuer, man, one of the best goalkeepers man in the world. world. And to be honest, and that Bayern team, it's such versatile playing, just versatile football. All the players they can play in all the positions. Look at Kimmich. He was running around from the flanks to the forward and then dropping back when it was needed the most. Yes, Mbappe was dribbling past him. Di Maria was dribbling past Alfonso Davies, but what use it's like you are studying hard for the exams but ultimately you are getting just zero out of 100 or 10 out of 100 like that only your finishing is so poor finishing man learn finishing this is Paris Saint Germain they have two players who cost over 400 million and they missed like Olympic Leonas a few days back where Deepai missed though that Tokwe Kambi missed that it was finished the finishing was of that level. I mean, grow up, boy, PSG. Grow up from the Farmers League. You can spend big as much money you want. You can spend as much money you want. We don't care. We don't care. Trust me. But at least don't disrespect these players like Neymar and Neymar, man. Oh, come on. He is such a good player. He played wonderfully. I finally thought that this is Neymar coming back. He's one of the three best players in the world. But a final choker remains a final choker ultimately. ultimately. So. Uh, the player from Bayern who impressed me the most in the finals was Thiago Alcantara. He was awesome. He was just phenomenal with the ball. He was running around the field from one flank to the other flank, from the left to the right, from the right to the left. He was everywhere. His presence was felt everywhere in the field and I have to condemn Thiago Silva. He's awesome, man. He's 35 years old but he was giving goal line clearances like it was some fantastic piece of defending from Thiago Silva and Kim Pembe and that header from Kim Pembe of Lewandowski which Lewandowski might have scored from which Lewandowski might have scored yeah. Kim Pembe just headed it out and cleared it it was awesome it is phenomenal but 
I think, do you know where Bayern won the match? It was that miss from Neymar. I wouldn't say it was basically a miss. I would say that it was Neuer's save. It was that save from Neuer where Bayern actually won the match. That wonderful save from Manuel Neuer. Yeah, obviously, as I said before that, Neymar could have shot it into the top right corner, but no, he chooses to shoot directly in Neuer's legs. He thinks that Neuer is some kind of Loris Carius or something like that. But it's not the fact Neuer is one of the three best goalkeepers in the world after Leia, Sheen, Bufo and... So it was awesome and fantastic performance from FC Bayern, ruthless performance from FC Bayern. And do you know what is the difference between FC Bayern and the other teams this season? It was that the other teams do not know how to use their chances, they misuse their chances. They bottle their chances, but Bayern doesn't bottle their chances. And look at that. Just in the 57th minute, Sergei Gnabry received the yellow card. Yeah, yeah, it was a yellow card for fouling on Neymar. Immediately, three minutes later, he gave a ball to Lewandowski. Lewandowski swiftly passed it to Kimmich. And that flick from Kimmich. What a curler it was. Kimmich simply flicked it and it was simple header from Puman. It was free header. And fantastic finishing from Koman with that head. And Mbappe couldn't finish with his legs. Koman finished with his head. And this Koman used to play in PSG. Yeah, yeah he used to play in PSG. That Koman was sold for free from PSG. Koman left PSG for free, and this player scored the winning goal in the Champions League final against PSG. Oh, that's some kind of irony, man. Certainly, I would like to appreciate the. The manager of Bayern Munich, who is that? Hansi Flick, yeah, he had put up some wonderful job this season. It was a phenomenal job. It was awesome. I mean, and look at Thomas Tuchel. I mean, why did they bring in Icardi? Tell me, why did they bring in Icardi? Icardi? In a stage like finals, you bring in Chopo Moting in place of that piece of shithead. I don't know who that is. You bring in Chopo Moting and you put Icardi on the bench. I mean, why did you buy Icardi, man? Uh, his job is just to sell peanuts. Yeah, he just sells peanuts in the bench. Why did you buy Icardi? He's a 50 million transfer and he's an Inter Milan superhero. And you bring in Eric Maxim Chopo Moting in a stage like final, hoping that he would give another score, uh, goal that he scored against Atalanta. And that too, that wasn't his credit. Honestly, it was deflected by the Atalanta defender. If it hadn't been deflected, it wouldn't have been a goal. It was honestly Atalanta defenders. Defensive mistake it was from Atlanta. So you bring in Eric Chop, Maxine Chopo Moting, and I really don't understand Thomas Tuchel's tactics. In the first half, you use Mbappe in the left wing and Neymar in the center forward. Wonderful. And in the second half, you transfer Mbappe to the center forward, use Neymar in the left wing. And PSG player just counter-attacking, dribbling past the defenders of Bayern Munich. And when it came to finishing, it was Poor, it was ruthless, it was worthless. Absolute shambolic performance from Paris Saint Germain. Absolute shambolic finishing, I would like to say. And Ander Herrera, he played so wonderfully. He gave that ball to Di Maria so wonderfully, and Di Maria just sent it to the moon. I mean, where is Di Maria looking, man? There's a simple goalpost in front of him, he just needs to tap in. He sends it to the moon. What is this? This is not what you expect from a team that costs about more than 1 billion maybe yeah maybe the most expensive team in the world the qatari oil owners uh, yeah the oil owners are owning psg i guess yeah huh. so what is this i don't understand from psg there's no difference between paris saint germain and olympic leonas i would say that olympic leonas played better than psg if olympic leonas hadn't bottled their chances which psg too did i think olympic leonas would have been in the final and it would have been Olympic Leonas in Peter Bayern celebrating. It's just every team bottled all their chances who came against Bayern. I don't know why they do that. Maybe just they get maybe they just get feared when they see Neuer in front of them or something like that. But I don't know. The teams like PSG, Barcelona, they're not supposed to bottle their chances and especially PSG when they have spent 400 million euros on two players. Those two players are expected to just mastered the game. Those two players are expected to boss the matches, but those were the players who just went up to the mark. In fact, Ander Herrera was PSG's best player. And Lewandowski too, I would like to say that he's such an unlucky guy in football. That 
he easily could have outscored Ronaldo, but PSG defense it was awesome. Just Thiago Silva's brilliant captaincy, Kim Pembe's awesome clearances, and Marquinhos' presence was too felt well. And that goalkeeper Kaylor Navas, he has he's a ten-time UCL winner, man. You can't just underestimate him. He has done wonderful piece of goalkeeping, but nobody can forget that goal of Coman. That moment of Coman. That moment when you scored that winning goal against your boyhood club, against the club where you came from. It was awesome. But I honestly feel sad for Neymar. He tried so hard in the knockouts. He gave his everything, and this was probably the first time he was fit after joining PSG in the UEFA Champions League knockout. But that too, he bottled in the finals. I guess it's the problem with all South Americans that choke in the finals. Yeah, but I seriously expected more from Kylian Mbappe. He is a player of such caliber. He has won the World Cup. He's such a wonder. He's such a wonderful player. He has got every major trophy except the UCL, and he is. Bottling up chances like that, he's shooting the ball directly into Neuer's face. What is that? Expected more from them. This Bayern team just out outwitted PSG. It was wonderful performance by FC Bayern München and a wonderful performance from PSG also. But absolutely shambolic finishing from PSG. I expected more, to be honest, from this finals because these two sides had the best scoring. Forwards in the world, but it was seemed as if the forwards themselves bought it. And I would have to certainly appreciate Hansi Flick's bravery. He used Koman in place of Coutinho or Perisic in such a big place in such a big finals, and Koman paid off. What a performance! It's absolutely a risk worth taking. So he knows when to play whom and where to play whom. This is great management from Hansi Flick. And the Bayern board, everything—they are just awesome. They cost less than a hundred million euros. The entire squad, which travelled for the finals, cost less than hundred million euros. And they defeated against—they defeated a club. They inflicted a defeat against a club, which has only two players costing more than four hundred million euros. That's four times their original squad total value. So, thank you. That's it. I think you've caught my explanation of. Who played well and who played worse, according to me. So it was awesome. But for me, the man of the match was ultimately Thiago Alcantara and Manuel Neuer. Certainly, yeah. So thank you guys. Keep watching Fubogen. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, and share it as much as possible. And we hope that the next season's final brings in more glory, more adventure. And I guess in the next season's UCL, we don't. See such bottling up of chances from big players, from big names. We expect more from players of that caliber. Thank you. Keep watching Fubo Gen. Bye bye. Ahora Neymar llegó a la valla, llegó la tapada de Noria de Neymar atrás. Está dentro de la red de evolución el control de Neymar. Fidel le pegó arriba. Le pegó. Yo creo que fíjate lo que hace Di María, que ahí claro si tiene dos a la marca de Angelito. Buena pelota que pasó Marquinhos. Está el empate.